What's up guys, Mel Milton here. Um, today I wanted to do a video. <gasps> yeah, I know, it's been a while. I wanted to do a video on my process with the lasso fill tool, how I use it. Um, these poses I had, that you're looking and seeing on the screen are ones that I had done um, warming up and I post them up on my social media sites and I had a lot of uh, people inquire about them. So I figured I would show um, how I use the lasso fill tool and um, the things I enjoy about doing it. So let's get started. All right, so before I get started with the lasso tool, I wanted to speak briefly as to um, my mindset when I'm using the lasso tool. So, so when you see, um, you know, it's not like I have never done the the stick man construction, right? So I'll do the stick man construction. You have your stick man construction, you know, which, um, you know, you move on and you can do the whole, um, you know, the box guy, right? The box guy. Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to get to it. I'm trying to make this as as painless as possible all right all right so it's that kind of construction that we're that i'm thinking about as as i'm using the lasso tool it's kind of these simplified parts so it, it, it would be like again like if I were to take this arm right and just make that be the tubes right it's that kind of thinking thinking like these these shapes right here right is what I'm thinking so when I go with the lasso tool right so when I go with the lasso tool oh, go to the lasso tool you know, I will build those shapes out, right? Kind of think where everything is, and I, and I think more layered kind of situation going on, right? Got a little bit of red in there. Right, so that's how I'm thinking of the form as as I go through it. And again, with with the lasso tool, you know, I'm I'm able to grab those. You know, it feels like it's already solid more so than just the line. Right, so we have this, um, and again, I use it for that purpose so that I can get my mind into thinking of the full form. Right, because then it's it's just um, um, again like my 3D animation background helped me with this. Like I didn't, I'd never understood like with the drawing. Once I had uh, taken the idea of how I thought about the 3D figure, and when I pose uh, 3D characters, um, I got to see a lot of. Um, what you didn't see, right? That, like, especially like within drawings, a lot of the times, you know, I would draw stuff and I wouldn't think about all the stuff that was going on, uh, like layered, right? I wouldn't think about those things that were going on uh, deeper down into it. And I also use it um, for like head construction too. So if I go in, excuse me and simplify the head right uh, here's here's the uh, main head part and then i'll do the face part and then i'll have place for um you know eye placement 
right? Take that out, but okay. Where's the nose? Where's the mouth? Ear. Hang it right there, right? So I can I can quickly get um, the essence of objects really quick with the lasso tool. That's what I love about it. And then um, I love that the way um, Clip Studio handles it, that you have that um, transparent color, right? So I can still stay within um, the lasso tool, switch the transparency, and then carve carve out extra plate places, right? So almost like I said, like sculpting, right? So I can go in and um, trim out things that I don't need, you know, right? Clean it up a little bit, so a little weird stuff there. So I can take that and let me carve it out a little bit more. Oops, carve it out. And just play with the shapes. Because basically everything is shapes anyway. So this is just an easier way for me to, um, you know, play with those shapes and, and experiment quickly and on the fly without having to, uh, you know, invest so many so many lines. Like, like I said, um, especially like with with body parts, right? So if if I wanted to map out a, a character really quick again i take that small medium and large and i'll uh you know I'll, let's see you know we'll give him a large head um, and small body and medium legs area right. and with that like i said i can i can use that as my base um my base uh guideline for my my dummy right and then i can come in and um take those things that i've with the the bigger stuff right and i can connect them in a way that i can say okay let's see let go he's got a, you know the belly and then lead his into his face Don't ask me what I'm making. I'm just, I'm just trying to get, um, you know, a way how I can flesh out things, right? And get a feel really quickly, All right? But that's the thing. I can, I can experiment a whole lot faster with this, with the lasso tool rather than hunting around and searching for things. It's just one way of doing it, and it's the reason. I mean, it's the thing that I like about it, is that I can, I can, you know, play with those shapes, you know, a whole lot easier than, you know, doing it with you know, trying to do it with lines. Hopefully you're finding this um, somewhat helpful because <laughs> again, uh, this is probably going more sideways than I thought it was when I first started. Right? <clears throat> so when we get into posing, right? So how I was handling those again, I get me a pose. And things where, okay, so um, like I was saying with the layered effect, right? So I take this leg, this would be the 
leg and back, knowing that the, the leg could be going in front of that, right? But now I've drawn it all the way through, I can put all the rest of the stuff on it, right? And this is just me personally. I'm just making crap up as we go. So now if I wanted to put a leg in front, right? Now the legs in front. And it's like that that's the thing that I like about this tech. You know, doing using the lasso tool for this is again it gets me thinking in layers what's you know the depth of something or you know uh, where I could uh, so I can still keep that what's in front what's in back in my mind right and again that's where the the color changing comes into play so that I can see it. Ask me what I'm doing. I'm just trying to do uh, make crap up. What woman? I don't know, that's not what it is, but again. as needed. So there you have it. That's basically it in a nutshell. Um, hopefully that made sense. And again, um, try to do it in a way that um, made sense. So hopefully it made sense to you. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, if so, um, Leave a like. Um, leave a like. Um, tell me if there was any parts that didn't make any kind of sense. Um, let me know as well. Um, or uh, anything that you'd like to hear about, leave it in the comments below. I'll try to do more of these again. <laughs> this was, this was uh, it, didn't, it didn't play out like I thought it would. But, you know, like anything else, um, I know it's going to come with practice. So, um, I appreciate you guys um, being patient with me with these things. Right? Um, because um, I don't really take a lot of time to think about them. And uh, I probably should so that I can share this stuff a little bit better. And be a little bit more concise but I think that'll just come with time so uh, again 
thank you for putting up with me and if you'd like me to do more of these kind of things um, like I said leave a comment or uh, ideas of things that you would like to see and I will get to it until then keep on keeping on